Oh. Welcome back YouTube on another episode of Riley's Wildlife Adventures and today we're going to be fixing the tiger enclosure. We have a few fence barriers we got to fix like the one behind me it's falling down a little bit so we're just going to fix that up and then we're going to build a couple new huts and clean it up a bit. There's a bit of bones in here and we don't like that when uh, the wildlife park opens so we're going to clean it up a bit and show you guys what we got. So before we can start anything, we're going to have to put the tigers in their lockup. So we're going to get to that right now and we'll show you guys them. You want to be in it? We got our driver today. So with this structure, what our plan is, we're gonna be putting a new floor right here where this old one was. So right here, we're gonna be laying out a whole new board. Just like up above, but we'll be replacing those ones as well. Put in new ones, nice sturdy ones for them. So, and then uh, there'll be a two floor building. And then we're not too sure yet. We might add a roof on the top of it but we're not too exactly sure yet what our plan is or we're just gonna keep it open how it is and have two floors for them but that's our plan right now and then might keep this tether ball right here we might move it somewhere else but we'll see how it goes and let's get to it
this is what we've got done so far. We got our deck right here, nice dirty deck for them. And then we just gotta work on the roof and we're done this structure for today. But we just got all the sides done. Looks pretty good. got a little we just got a couple more things to do but it looks beautiful when you're working on enclosures you always want to make sure you pick up all the old nails screws and wires uh, it's very important to always pick it up. You don't need any of your animals stepping on it and getting an injury. In the end, it's a lot easier to just pick up the screw or the wire and avoid the whole situation and avoid them getting an injury. So I've dropped a few nails and screws, so I'm going to make sure I pick them up right now. So we're just going to make sure we pick up all the old, any old screws or screws we've dropped. We don't need to be hurting any of the animals, so we'll just do a quick check. Make sure we haven't dropped any more. So it looks to be clear of all the screws. So we are good to head back and head for lunch. So right behind me is another one of our projects that we've been working on. And it is the in the gift shop. We've been building new reptile enclosures. And let's go take a look. This is where their reptile enclosures will be. We're just waiting on our order of plexiglass right now for all the fronts of them. But that's what we've been working on. Over here, we're gonna have, we have a 12 foot of Burmese albino python. We're gonna put them in here. And then we got a four foot tagu. We're gonna put them in this enclosure. And then we got a red tail boa. And then we have two baby ball, th ball pythons right now. One of them is actually really cool. It's a uh, albino. It's really beautiful. And then we'll have our iguana. It's going to be split in half, these two. And it'll be like the iguana and the bearded dragon. And then I can't remember what we're putting here, but it'll be something. And then our plan is this spot, we're going to build a bird enclosure, or just a little bird cage for a parrot and then outside we'll have our capuchins out there. Still got to clean it up a bit, put in new toys, new structures. So that's going to look really beautiful when this will be done in the next few days. I can't wait to show you guys when it's done with all the reptiles in it. It's going to be amazing. Just amazing. Welcome back everybody. We decided instead of finishing on the finishing up the tigers right after lunch, we decided we're going to take down this old rotten tree behind me. And yeah, we're going to get to it about to go timber <laughs> but get ready for it guys you know I don't want to miss it so before we get started on actually cutting the whole thing down we're just gonna cut off some of the smaller limbs so it's a bit more safer and nobody wants to get hurt so it's all about safety guys safety first <laughs> That's Country Ken right there. Go give him a follow on Instagram.
so I'm gonna call it a day at the wildlife park. Frankly, I'm tired of getting bitten by mosquitoes. I'm pretty sick of it at the point right now. So I'm gonna call it a day for myself. And yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna call it a, so today will be part one of the video I'm gonna release. And then tomorrow will be part two. And that will be the tigers and all the animals coming out of their lockups and enjoying their new enclosures. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below if you guys like the video or not. And stay tuned. I'll see you guys next episode.